Are you at your wit's end? You're hearing the scratching in the ceiling and in the walls. You're getting frustrated. You're hiring rodent companies to come out. They don't know what to do. Well, in this video, we're gonna give you some amazing tips that's gonna solve this issue once and for all. channel. My name is Jim Shulking. I'm super excited to have my twin brother Dave and a leading rodent expert Robert with All Star Animal Trapping. So Robert, let's get right into it. First of all, why do they hear scratching in the walls and the ceiling? What, what's happening? Well, that's a great question, Jim, and we get that all the time. So the animals that are going to be in your attic scratching are either going to be chipmunks, squirrels, rats, opossums, or raccoons. And the reason why they're scratching is they're getting ready to make a bed. They're nesting in the insulation either to raise their young or store food. And another reason why you'd be hearing the scratching sound is these rodents have to chew because their teeth will continue to grow. It'll cause them harm if they don't sharpen them and sharpen them down. That's amazing. Oh, That's yeah, amazing. and a lot of the calls that we're getting Really is, God, I've, I've had so many rodent companies come by. They're protecting my home. I've cut trees down. I'm spending thousands of dollars, but they just keep getting back in. And one of the things that most rodent companies are missing is the actual infrastructure of your plumbing system. Absolutely. So we've invested highly in training our staff and going in uh, and teaming up with Robert we're literally executing. We're going up to the roof to the drain system and we're injecting our UV smoke and we're finding pipes that, that the rodents have actually chewed through. Yes, ABS pipes. This was one that we just found the other day. They absolutely ate through it. And um, one other indicator is if they are in your sewer system, we're actually sniffing the vent lines up above and that really uh, gives us a, a laser focused area inside the home, but this is a, an amazing way to detect rodents in your ceiling and your walls. So Robert, what are some of the things that, other than the plumbing system and rolling that out, what would you say are some of the most effective tools? I, I see that you've got some traps here. Uh, can you kind of go over some of that? Sure, sure, absolutely. Well, we have a, a couple different types of traps here. We have a we have a cage trap. It's a humane trap that captures them live in there for you know certain clients who want to cater to their needs. Um, but you know the best traps to use are just these old school wooden traps, these snap traps. I mean, they they've been working for years. They work fantastic. But it's important to keep in mind these traps are not effective if the exclusion work isn't done first. The whole property has to be sealed up 100% for these traps to be really effective because essentially when we seal everything off, they have no way to get out to their food supply that they're used to eating. So by default, this is the only food that they have to eat while they're trapped in the attic, while we're trapping them underneath your house or in your attic. Boom, they go for the traps every single time. Got it. Especially going after a lot of rodent companies, when they haven't really been successful in getting to the source. And one of the great benefits with our partnership here is that we've got almost 90 years of experience here with, with, with plumbing and as well as like our enzyme treatments to get rid of the odor, because that's also an attractant as well, leaving all that urine and defecation. So a full service rodent company that is licensed and has all of the credentials to deal with your plumbing, that deals with your indoor air quality, that has all of the right products, really is the only way that uh, you're gonna get a guarantee not to have these rodents causing that infiltration in your home. Absolutely, and with all of that, they, you know, the rodents leave behind a lot of urine, defecation, so oftentimes we're opening up those walls to get inside we're finding the nests, the babies, a uh, lot of defecation. So the way in which we approach this is securing the property is building our critical barriers with, with plastic, tight seal plastic, air scrubbers, just to maintain that indoor air quality, especially if we're dealing with rodents that are very close to your HVAC system. 
they're nesting underneath that return. So all of those urine and defecation, when you kick on your AC, it disperses throughout all your vents. Am I right? Absolutely, 100%. What would you guys say the two top questions or, you know, what, what is, what is the best practice to hire the right rodent company? What do you, what would you guys say would be the best? I would say for peace of mind is a guarantee and a, and a true scope of how they're going to achieve, you know, cause it's one thing Robert to go in and secure the property, right? Um, but if that rodent company doesn't have all of the tools, as far as the waste system, yes. that sort of kind of leaves that customer hanging, right? Sure, absolutely. And a lot of companies don't have a, a great partnership to work with a company that has the ability to smoke test. I don't know of anybody except for Twin Home Experts that has that the machinery that can do the smoke testing. You guys have solved countless jobs for us. And it's by having that technique that has led to solving our customers' problems. Yeah. yeah. And, and with that technology, if you don't have a rodent company that has the UV non-toxic smoke technology, one thing to consider is hiring a local plumber that's got the right colored cameras. We use a micro camera as well as a regular sewer camera. And that's a really good way to identify if there's any breaches in the sewer line, such as this. If there was a camera that came down this pipe, you'd be able to see this. So a camera is something to really consider. Yeah, and a lot of other questions we get um, is the cost, right? We get costs, how much does all of this cost? It sounds expensive. You know, it really depends. There's so many different factors. There's how big the house is, how much attic space, accessibility in the attic, accessibility in the crawl space, where the breaches are, um, how much UV smoke we have to pump in, how many walls we have to open up, ceilings we have to open up, all of that factors in. So I would say just based on, um, we've done it as low as $500 and we've done it as high as $4,500. Kind of gives you an idea, of, you know, based on a single story house versus a uh, large two story house. Yeah, I always say every situation is unique and it's always good to, to get a couple estimates, you have a professional come out and look over everything, get a couple different estimates and, and compare the two and ask a lot of questions. You know, that's what I recommend. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. We all are big believers in at least getting two estimates. It's not only gonna save you money, but you're gonna get educated as to who's gonna be the best fit for your particular situation. Absolutely. All right, so if this was really insightful, if you really want to see us in action, the next video really gives you a play-by-play -play on how we inject smoke into the sewer system and what we find is extraordinary.